what's going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki guys and today guys I'll be doing another exploit with the new PS3 exploit method on this 2001A slim PS3 so this is already a custom firmware guys so I have it on 4.81 Reebok custom firmware but I'm gonna update it to 4.82 official firmware and then I'm gonna do the exploit again but this time I'm, I'll be doing it with the with the mini web server guys because the first time I did this um, the files got misplaced in in these folder over here and I think it wasn't working properly for everyone so they had to resort to using the second method which was the website and run the exploit through that website so guys before I go ahead and start guys I just want you to hit that like that subscribe button and also hit that share guys so guys let's go ahead and get started but first of all let me show you that this PS3 is actually jailbroken already as you can see it showed the, the package manager and I can do install storage show the Reebok toolbox and it shows all these things down here guys so let me just go all the way over to update right here it X it internet and there you go guys it found 4.82 so I'm just gonna hit X and let it let the cost let the, the official firmware overwrite the custom firmware guys Accept. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that in the background and then I'm gonna come down to the laptop. And now, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start preparing the mini web um, server, HTT server, for you guys to be able to have it to use. And maybe this one will work a lot easier for you guys. So I'm going to name them guys. I'm going to name them the same way oh, I named these one. So I did name it Nanwrite and Norwrite and Nordump. So let's go ahead and start extracting. So first I'm going to extract the mini web for the mini web files. Okay, so guys, let's go ahead and rename this one. Let's call this one dump. So this one is to dump the the nor chip so let's go ahead and leave that one like that let's go ahead again and extract a second one so let's rename this one as well and we're gonna call we're gonna call this one um let's see we're gonna call this one um nan nan right yeah let's call this one nan Nan Don't know if you guys can see it properly, but it's called Nan right. There you go. 
let's go ahead and extract the third one again and this time we're gonna rename this one to um, nor right okay so nor right and guys the ps3 is still updated to official firmware so let's continue on the laptop so guys the first thing we need to do is set up the dump so go in the dump folder let's put that put it over here and guys you have to do this if you're on on Windows 7 or Windows 10 because this is what happens to me and the files got mixed up so make sure that you hit organize go to folders and settings go to view and then make sure that you uncheck hide extensions okay now guys go over we're gonna go over to the nor dump folder and what we need from the nor dump folder is this file so put it right there then the second file we need is this one put it right there as well and now we can close this one so guys this folder htdocs you have to go into htdocs guys and then inside htdocs you have to delete this file this logo and the upload and the uploaded html files because these three files they will redirect you to the mini web website and that's not where we need the ps3 to be redirected to so make sure that in the htdocs folder you delete them guys okay go back out and now you're gonna make a copy of the index HTML and you're gonna paste that one go back out again and you're gonna copy this one as well and you're gonna paste it inside the HDDoc folder now that's it guys that's that's just the first step oh one more thing guys with the mini web right click go down to properties compatibility and hit run as administrator okay so this is all set up now guys so this one this one guys is to dump dump your nor to make the dump of your nor chip so we can go ahead and close that one down so let's go ahead and go to the if you're gonna do I'm doing that I'm doing the, the nor right now so I'm just gonna set up the nor you can do the same for the NAN as well you I'm setting up the nor right now but you can do the same if you have a NAN PS3 so just follow these steps if you have a NAN PS3 so go in the folder the mini web folder now remember guys we're doing it for a NOR so make sure that you're in you're setting it up for NOR and over on this side guys where you have your NAN and NOR folder that we got from the PSX place website so what you need to do now guys you need to copy this and place it there also copy the NOR exploit 
and place it there and that's it guys that's all we need from that folder because we're not we're not doing the NAND so we just need the NOR and this file down here so after doing that guys go ahead and copy this file again and we're gonna place it in the the HD docs also guys remember to go ahead and also delete the same file that we deleted before so delete and paste go back out make a copy of the NOR and paste inside the HD docs so now we can go ahead and close both folders so as you saw what I just did guys I did it for the NOR writer so if you have a NAN and you want to write it to the NAN just take just go ahead and oh wrong folder just go ahead and take the NAN 482 HTML and take the writer 10 and put it over do just the same guys and you will have it ready to go so let us go ahead and um, wait until the PS3 is done updating guys and I'll get right back to you when it's done okay so the PS3 finally finished installing the update so let me just show you guys that it's not um, custom firmware anymore so I'm gonna go and show you the system update that it took there you go guys it's on 4.82 official firmware again so guys let's go over to our PS3 internet browser okay so I'm just I'm just gonna press connect and hit triangle go to tools and just just delete cookies hit triangle again go tools and delete search history hit triangle one more time tools again and delete cache so now guys hit triangle one last time and we're gonna go to home we're gonna go to tools again and then we're gonna go down to home page then go to use blank page hit hex then go down to ok then hit x again okay so let's go ahead and exit the browser and then re-enter the browser again perfect now we're on a blank page guys so hit start and let's go ahead and delete that and we'll go back to the computer now over on the laptop and we are gonna use the NOR dump so go ahead and open up the NOR dump because we pre configured before so run the mini web and that's the IP address we're going to aim for so let's go ahead and type it in
so hit that select colon and the final numbers are gonna be 8000 so 8 0, 0, 0 and hit hit start and you should be greeted with this page guys hit X and here we are on the exploit page guys so the one thing I should say about this guys to get a more steady or a more faster response I would say go ahead and um, take your before doing this take your PS3 off Wi-Fi and use a uh, uh, Ethernet connection because that that's more stable more than using a Wi-Fi but I'll go ahead and use my Wi-Fi because I'm not connected to any to any Ethernet cable so I'm using the Wi-Fi but you you guys can go ahead and use uh, Ethernet cable to avoid any problem or anything like that or if you are scared that you might have a weak connection but my connection is good so I'll continue using Wi-Fi so okay so now we're gonna dump our Nord chip guys to the USB stick and my USB stick is in the PS3 make sure it's format to FAT32 and make sure that it's empty so over over dump full 16 megabyte NOR and then it X and it shows success guys so let's go ahead and wait to see if the PS3 will shut down, will beep then shut down. And our USB stick is doing something guys, so I think it's dumping. So let's go ahead and wait some more. Okay, perfect guys. So I I heard it the beep. I hope you guys heard the beep as well. And the PS3 is now off guys. So let me go ahead and remove the USB stick. Power on back the PS3. And let's check if we have our dump guys. So guys on the computer you will see some activity take place with the mini um, mini web so that's just that's just okay guys just follow these steps and you'll get through as well and this you right at this point when you restart your ps3 you can go ahead and hit X and let it just um, recheck all the files to make sure that everything is still good you don't have to do it but I do it anyways so let's go ahead and close the mini web application and let's go ahead and check our USB stick. Okay. Perfect guys. So here's our our NOR chip dump. So I'm just gonna make a folder and I'm gonna back up this folder really really safe. So I'm gonna call it Okay, so 
let me go ahead and yep now I'm gonna save this to my to the desktop perfect now let's go ahead guys and delete this backup but before I go ahead let's just double check in the folder okay it's there now delete delete it off your USB stick because we need it to be clean all right so guys I am going to pause the video and um, save this save this record and then continue in the next step guys so I'm gonna pause and then come back afterwards okay guys so now I am back so let's go ahead and continue where we left off from so go ahead and close the dump mini web folder because we just made our dump of the nor chip so we're gonna write the the X file to the NOR so go ahead and put your your USB stick into your computer and let's go and get that X file to write to your NOR chip so here is the X file the X file guys so just just drag it and drop it to the root of your USB stick go ahead and eject your USB stick go ahead and close the hacks file folder so guys remove your USB stick and plug it back into your PS3 again guys make sure it's the right port and make sure that it does connect and back on the computer now guys go ahead and open up the NOR mini web folder and now guys go ahead and guys make sure that the mini web runs as administrator so go ahead and run the NOR write mini web so we're going to write the the x file to the ps3 uh, nor chip so go ahead and run it and now we have our ip address guys so let's go back over to the ps3 and let's repeat let's repeat the same steps guys go back to your internet browser And at this point guys you can go ahead and hit triangle and go to go to history then hit triangle again and then hit X to delete all so now we have a clean history so go ahead hit start and just go ahead and punch back in the same IP address so mine is already over here in the prediction section so let's go ahead and hit start again now guys if you are greeted with this page it doesn't mean that the exploit is not working just follow my step guys just go over to the nor 482 html just go up to it put the mouse over it and hit x and you will get prompt with this message so go ahead and hit X again and as you can see guys it take us right to the to the page where we need to be so over over the right to nor flash memory after that hit X guys and it seems like I got a fail but let's just wait and let's see if we can refresh it after maybe like two minutes. 
oh now we got a success guys but now the ps3 has frozen so let me just give it a few more minutes Okay guys, so um, there's nothing happening with the memory card, with the USB stick and the PS3 has now frozen because the wave in the back is also frozen. So this is how you know that your PS3 has frozen. So I'm just going to go and hit the power button. Even though the website says that you should not turn off your console. Um, when this happened, but I'm gonna go ahead and power it off Okay, so the ps3 is now off guys, so I'm gonna go and restart it and the PS3 comes right back up guys so at this point I'm gonna hit O Okay, so let's go again and give it a try again, guys. So go back to your computer, close the mini web, and let's start it again. Let's go back to the PS3 browser, hit start, delete that. And let's go to prediction and let's hit start again let's go and over over the the nor for a2 it X now we're back on the same site again guys so let's go ahead and hit X again to write to flash memory And I got a success right away the wave in the back of not frozen guys so hopefully hopefully I won't get any freeze or anything like that now I should wait and let's see if the PS3 will beep then shuts off guys Oh, there we go guys so the PS3 has just um, turned off beep then turned off so now we're gonna go and 
remove our USB stick then power it back on okay so now guys the PS3 is booting up I'm gonna go and hit X and let it do a check file so let it let it do its thing then you're gonna close this file close the folder refresh so guys now what we're gonna do we're gonna go and get the the 4.82 Firefox um, custom firmware and then after that we're gonna get the toggle QA you only use the toggle QA guys if you want to downgrade the custom firmware back to rebug 4.81 if you're satisfied with Firefox um, 4.82 custom firmware then you can just stay right there you don't have to downgrade it back to rebug or anything so I'm gonna go ahead and show you to how to install the Firefox firmware so let's go over to my other computer and right here guys I have the Firefox custom firmware 4.82 so follow my step on how to get it ready to update your PS3 so go ahead and create a new folder and with this folder you're gonna call it PS3 not sure if you guys can see that there it is PS3 all caps inside that folder now guys you're gonna create another folder and you're gonna call it update all caps as well okay perfect now with the Firefox firmware just go ahead and copy it and you're gonna go ahead and put it in the PS3 um, folder that we just created so you're gonna go ahead and put it in this folder that you just created go inside update folder now and paste so now guys I want you to rename the Firefox firmware and you're gonna rename it the exact way how high Oh, I do it okay so PS3 up that that's the way it's supposed to be guys so just save that close the folder and this folder guys you're gonna go and put it on your USB sticks so let's go again and put our USB stick in the computer okay perfect so our USB stick just popped up and the USB stick guys will still have the axe file so you can just go ahead and delete that because we're done with it now once that's done guys just go ahead and drag your ps3 folder with the update and the firefox file that we just placed in it let it go ahead and copy over to the memory card sorry the usb stick right now guys go ahead and eject your USB stick now we're gonna go back over to the PS3 and we're gonna put it in the right port so guys right now 
after you put it in the right port guys let's go up to the ps3 and we're gonna go we're gonna go all the way over to system update we're gonna go to USB stick and it shows that it it finds the Firefox version 1.00 so it's okay and guys if it doesn't if it doesn't um, install the custom firmware using the XMB menu you can go ahead and go in safe mode and try it from the safe mode so it accept it X then go down and it X again and let it run guys so at this moment guys I will go ahead and explain a few things uh, just just one simple thing actually um, I didn't go and do the version check the mini version check because this PS3 was already jailbroken using the E3 flasher so I know uh, um, I know how low the PS3 um, is able to go down to I know how low it can downgrade to so this PS3 was able to go down to 2.40 I believe so I know that this is safe so I don't have to use the mini bird check guys but for anyone out there who is doing this for the first time I would recommend go ahead and do run the mini bird check the same way how you create the the, the, the update for the PS3 using the, the USB stick method is the same way you're going to use the mini bird check to check your system so as you guys saw how I, how I renamed the file and the Firefox file and put it on put it in the PS3 folder then the update folder then I place it in the in the PS3 then I go to the update side of the PS3 um, via via storage and then I did the update like this what's taking place now so you can go ahead and do the mini ver check the same exact way and it will show you um, how low your system can be downgraded to if you if your ps3 is is able to go down low as for um, three point five six then you're in the safe zone if it goes lower you're still in the safe zone but anything above 3.56 then your ps3 can't be done with this method So I think that was the final step of the update. Now we have to wait until the PS3 has reboot itself. And we should reboot in Firefox, guys. So we should reboot in 4.82 Firefox.
there you go guys so that's how easy and simply it is guys so this is this method guys is for people who had problems with the first video that I put out so I went back and I changed the files because my my um, PC wasn't showing the extension of the files so at some point I got a little bit confused but um, it worked when I tried it but for some people who tried who watched the video then tried it didn't work so they had to um, roll back to the second method so guys I hope this do help anyone out there as you can see now we're now we have our install package file again and we have our right here let's go close up we have our app home ps3 game so guys if there's no need to go to rebug then you can stay in Firefox but in my next video guys I will make a video and show you guys how to change from Firefox 4 4.82 down to rebug 4.81 so guys once again thanks for watching guys and if you did like this video give it a thumbs up a like and also a subscribe guys and also guys tomorrow I will be doing my giveaway so make sure you hit that notification bell so you guys will be notified as soon as the update uh not the update sorry as soon as the giveaway is started so thanks for watching guys and see you in my next video